Please be advised that this had to be recorded. The piece that I recorded for this just disappeared. And this is future me <laughs> recording in the beginning of this video. Hello, hi, I'm Jacques. Welcome to part two of the Magical Readathon vlog, reading vlog. Um, and we are starting on demonology. For demonology, I only need an O level, which means I just need to read one book. I can't find my notes, which makes me sad. Um, yeah. And for... Just one second, let me find my notes. Audible Idol, because it was right in front of me. If it was a snake, I would be dead. So, um, for the O level, I need to read... A non-reader pick or a non-reader someone who doesn't read for fun has to pick a book for me so this is how it went um i need to somebody else a non-reader to choose a book for me to read this month so i've got these three books would you choose them for me please but i don't know what they i know just 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 have a look at them and then the kiana reason i knew you were going to take this <laughs> one and now if I, you didn't come home i was going to ask her early but she was already wanting to choose this one so Could ask jason too yeah, well, I didn't want to watch that this one. <laughs> so we're going with this one. The Book of Elsewhere. Uh, thanks. Oopsies, oopsies. Yeah, so we're going to go with mm, 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 The Book of Elsewhere by China Meeble and Keanu Reeves. Uh -huh. This is courtesy of Penguin Random House, South Africa. Thank you very much. You can pause to read or go check goodreads as usual you know okay it doesn't have the new book smell anymore not so much but this is kind of i don't know fantasy sci-fi blend it's kind of floppy we love that um yeah so we're gonna do that Hello, welcome to the 29th of September. <laughs> the problem with doing three videos is that you forget, you put off recording for the one because you need to record for the other, so you forget that you didn't record for the, the second, and then you record for the third, and then now you're coming back and you don't have the footage. It happens. With multiple. Okay, so we're done with, um, sorry, the book of elsewhere. That video is now up, The Magical All Nighter. Please do go check that out. Um, also, I'm finished my next book. So that leaves me with three books left for Magical Readathon. I am currently also reading The Instrumentalist Parallel Constable. Harriet Constable, that is for a read along with Tandem Collective, the part one, and is up now. I shall link this up here. Um, part two should also be up by now, by the time you see this video. So, uh, do go check that out. I will also, yeah, link the first part of this video of this vlog in the description box below as well as the playlist of all things magical readathon so do check that out um, and then what we need to do now is I'm waiting for some coffee we need to go on to restoration and for restoration I need to read two books that is a Q, Q level yeah so for my first book we need to read 
uh, something with nice sky on the cover. I'm looking at my notes. Sorry, it's down there. <laughs> uh, something with nice sky on the cover. Um, I have been accepted for the arc of the full moon problem, and that is what we're gonna go with. By K. Claire, we talking witches, we talking werewolves, we talking romance. Uh, it's a little bit spicy. Some monster porn. Now, is this going to be a first for monster porn for me? Well, not a. Yeah, not. Yeah, not the first. But I mean, I'm choosing to read it for the first time, I suppose. Uh, knowing, I'm knowing that there's monster porn in there. Okay. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, transiency, and we have male male romance, and we have small town, cozy, we're going through autumn, and Christmas, so that's cool. Back into spring. So it's very cozy, it's fantasy, it's paranormal, I don't know. It's Sounds fun. Guys, Cape Town Reviews is to let go winter. It's been raining now the last couple of days. Today you got the sun, but then out of nowhere it's rain. Okay, like hard rain. <laughs> and then it stops. And then it happened twice now. And now you got the sun and the clouds, but it's cold. The wind is icy, freezing cold. And that's why we are looking like we look. Um, and we're having coffee every five minutes because it's warm. <laughs> Not every five minutes, I'm joking. Okay. So, um, I can't record myself reading from my phone because I only have one device. So I can't record myself from there. Sorry. So. Felix inherits his great aunt's cottage. You know his great aunt? His aunt. Okay. Um, after 10 years of being estranged from his family, just out of nowhere, she dies. He inherits he, her cottage. Um, and so he moves from London to Nimbleford, um, which I'm assuming is a made up village. Um, and he moves in there and he knows his, his, his parents are like witches and stuff because, or whatever, because his aunt was doing all those herbs and potions and teas and stuff and his mom was doing all the other kind of, the other side, the, the, the magic kind of thing, you know, the wards and blah, 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 blah. Um, I think he left because of being of his transitioning and him coming out as trance so he left anyway that's that's in the in the thing so he moves in and he thinks and 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 he meets people and he's getting to know the house he's getting to clean it out and, la, 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 and he's got a garden so he's cleaning the garden and his first interaction with the weirwolf is kind of scary we're not gonna lie he gets a, he they it jumps on him in the night because he's gone out to go harvest some wood flowers um, but he has already met Declan, and Declan is hot, 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 hot. so hot. OMG, okay, very, very hot. <laughs> Good boyfriend, Declan. Anyway, so, yeah. And things happen, he gets to know the people, then he gets to know Declan, and then they have a secret. Whenever you ask about, you know, wild animals, every, the whole town just mums up and then the, 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 you know, the vibes drop, you can feel the temperature in the room, the tension builds and la la la, and then they just stop talking. So eventually he figures it out and he finds a book and la 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 la, and he makes all his teas and he places, starts to place, taking his grand, his aunt's place in the village as the Green Witch or what else, as, as the, the person to come to, they, they all accepted it. So eventually he figures out that, you know, Declan is the werewolf and it goes on there, but of course he's attracted to Declan. Um, I mean, who wouldn't be attracted to Declan? Come on now. <laughs> so, things happen. It's actually really good. Um, I'm not a romance kind of a guy, okay, as you should all know by now, if you've been watching my videos. But this was amazing. It was amazing. It is, it just, you know, I teared up so many times the first time in chapter one. 
really. Um, and it just gives you all this feel good. There's this a bit of tension, um, you know, there's this it giving you nice Halloween vibes, it's giving you fall vibes, it's it's giving you it give you a little bit of Christmas if you're into that sort of thing. Um the writing is lovely, okay. Um also I'm very intrigued. The story is the story's great. Absolutely loved it. I love the town of Nimbleford, I love people, I love the setting how and I love I just loved everything about it. For a romance, really. It was incredible. I'm still uncomfortable with spice in my books, especially when it comes to the female what what. <laughs> um, but this is great. This was actually great. And I also it's actually also educational for me, I'm not gonna lie. So yes, so we've got small town romance. We've got oh yeah, touch him and die. That's a nice one. Uh, look, it's male male romance. It's paranormal. It's witchy. This witch. This werewolf. Um, lone wolf. And Felix is just he's just a cinnamon roll. His characters are so great. The story is so great. The writing was lovely. Um, I would love to go visit Nimbleford. Unfortunately, it's fictional, so we won't go there. Um, I am giving this... I want to say five stars, and I want to say four stars. I'm giving it four and a half stars. Just because I don't know how I feel about monster porn. <laughs> and am I going to read more? I don't know. This was great. You know, I actually I enjoyed that. Um, no, I lie. I'm giving it five stars, you guys. I'm giving it five stars. I'm still not a fan of monster porn. I mean, I don't, I don't watch it, um, I don't want to read it, but this, I don't know, this just hit the right spots, all of them, I don't understand it, it's amazing, that's all I have to say, five stars, highly recommend, do go and check that out. Okay, that leaves me with two books left for the month, I will be finishing The Instrumentalist today, being Sunday, because I need to film part three. Uh, oh, oops, don't break everything down um but i also <laughs> which the instrumentalist is my choice for spells and incantations is technically my last book on the list my second book for restoration i need to read a book with a poisonous plant on the cover and i've gone with the betrayals by bridget collins because i enjoy the silence factory mm -hmm. Um, you can pause to read or check Goodreads. Good. Good. Yeah, now look, guys, this is over 400 pages. I have only today and tomorrow left. Okay, I'm going to push it till the first. So, you know, I can go to Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see how long the form is open for submissions for these books. And then that's how long I'll have. But I'm going to finish the instrumentalist today because we need to do part. And then I'm going to rush, 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 rush. Yay me. Yay me. But so far for what I can tell is, you know, there's a game called The Grand Shoe. There's an academy tucked away in the mountains. It's exclusive. Only the best and brightest are trained for excellence in the Grand Shoe, which is an arcane and mysterious contest. So already, you know, we're looking at Hunger Games vibes, kind of. We're looking at... Yeah, I don't know what we're looking at, but we're looking at the magic school? The magic academy? I don't know, but I'm excited. I'm already into part one, up, up chapter one. I've read chapter one complete. I'm on chapter two, page ten. Hey, hey! Guys, I'm going to need all the luck I can get. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello, hi. It's gotten cold. 
Er, a lot colder, so I put in a lot more tops. And we get the afternoon sun, it's the late afternoon sun. So now I'm sitting here pretending that I can feel the warm. It's not warm. It's like 13 degrees. And the sun is gonna go away because all the clouds. I'm just I'm just soaking up as I can. Anyway. <laughs> It's cold, you guys. It's cold. Um, it's just after 5 p.m. I'm just about in to the betrayals. I am 158 pages. So there's this academy called Montverde Academy. Okay, I don't know what to do there. I, I really don't. They study mass and music and religion and all sorts of stuff. But they're there to play... A game called the Grand Jeu, mm, Grand Jeu, whatever. Um, I have no idea what it is. It hasn't. It hasn't explained it yet. So now we're following a guy called Leo, Leo Martin, who used to be there as a student, and he won a gold medalist medal in his second year in the game, and blah blah blah. And now he left and he became the Minister for Culture and then he didn't agree with the policies, one of the policies, and so they made him resign and now he has to go back to Montbier Academy to study the Grand Jeu. So we're learning what happened in the past with his diary and we're seeing what's happening now currently in the future where he is. And we're also seeing a point of view from one of the teachers, um, the Magister Ludi, uh, her name is Dryden or something, or Dresden or something like that. <laughs> There's nothing happening, okay? He's settled in, he's in a clock tower, da 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 da, and he's just gone through his old stuff. This is in the present, in the past. <clears throat> okay, so we learned what happened in school days, and da da da, he's finished his first term, and they've handed in they grant you. We don't know what it is. We haven't seen it play. We haven't... We don't know. I don't know what's happening. Okay, I know what's happening. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> How do these things get a mouth? Anyway. I mean, I know what's happening, but there's nothing exciting happening. But I do like it. Um, funnily enough, it's kind of slice of a life. Now, his diary entries read quickly. Um, the beginning of the game... <sighs> beginning of the book took a bit of getting into because they're using language that you need in the book language so you need to get used to what they're saying and then you know try not to connect them with things that you know just wait until you get an explanation for these things so it does take a bit of getting used to <coughs> but sip has gone really quick i mean i've been reading literally practically non-stop okay i don't read non-stop but it was practically non-stop so much i read today um probably gonna go sleep soon it's almost my bedtime between six and eight see how much i'm gonna read and then i still let me have tomorrow left do you think i'll make it do you think i'll make it okay i can squeeze it till the morning of the first I mean, it's still open. It's still open on Tuesday. The books, the, the form is still open to put the books in, so that's fine. And yes, you can count one day later. There was nine days in September that I needed before I could start on my September TBR. So why can't I have one day in October to finish my September TBR? Okay? <laughs> so yeah, so that's where we're at. So, um... Things happened in Leah's past. And it's a bit of an arrogant what what but he is one of those people that you know he doesn't care things don't matter to him i don't know but he learns stuff as dealing with people i don't know where this book is going i don't know what the grand shoe is about <clears throat> but I'm, I'm i suppose we'll have to wait and see so far it's okay um i'm enjoying the story even though it's weird so far and oopsie and I'm and it's going really fast the diary entries go really quickly uh, so there's that it's not a, a, it's not bad writing it's not a bad story it's just when are we gonna get to any point at all do you understand it's like I need something to happen why do you keep doing that 
Anyway, I'll see you later again. Okay, bye. <laughs>
We haven't seen it played. I have no idea. No. So anyway, that is what we are at. This is where we are. Um, oh yeah, and then of course the party where he was part of, the ministry, whatever, is now taking a hand in the academy. And, and one of his colleagues is now there for the Midsummer Gay, but he's early and he's stirring up some dissent or whatever. There, there's a plan, he has a plan. The, the Grand Jew needs to pay its way. So now he's asking Leo how, where his loyalties lie. But of course, Leo has some secrets. So it's just basically intrigue. That's all it is intrigue. I'm still one the games. I want the games. Is that too much to ask for? Can I have games? Well, okay, bye. <laughs> See you later. Hi, hello. <laughs> So I finished the betrayals <laughs> and my review is now up on, on Goodreads and on my Instagram. Look, it's an intriguing story, it's a character driven story, there's this secrets and betrayals and backstabbings and there's bi themes and there's transformations and, and, and stuff, there's a lot happening. Um, it tells you about the game that's mysterious and arcane and people are learning it and teaching it and playing it. It's a combination of mathematics and music and science, poetry, etc, etc. But we never get to see the play of the game. Never, ever, 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 ever. We do get a bit where, where uh, Dryden is actually going to do the Midsummer game. But while she's doing the game, we have no idea because the focus is on Leo, who's in the audience. We never see the game being played. I don't know what the game is. So, yes, there's a there's a, an author's note about the being based off some other book, some other person's book, but anyway, about some game. So, I, I still don't know what it is because I haven't read the book. It's in, it's in there somewhere. Um... The glass bead game from Herman Hess, apparently. If you know what that is, then you know I don't know. So sorry. So yeah. So um, that completes my TBR for Magical Readathon. However, I couldn't find a link to the book report form. I looked. I looked on Instagram. I looked in the highlights. I looked under at the YouTube. The current YouTube videos, I didn't find them. I didn't find a link to the thing. I went into the drive and I didn't find anything. So, my book is have not been logged. The six of them. Sorry, all of these pages and all of these books might have made a difference somehow. I don't know. Okay. But that's not the end of them. Yay for me! I completed my semester in full. My whole thing, I did my six books, I read my six books, I finished my six books. I read more than six books this month, but these are the books that are relevant for this whole magical read Um This is the only book that I DNF'd. DNF means did not finish. R N R N means not right now. I did not finish this. I also have a review up on Goodreads if you would like to go and have a look at why. Um, but in order to count this book, I have to use a little something something. So I had to spend 10 guild repetition points on a scroll of correction. I think that's right. And uh, yeah, that makes me count that. So I had 520 guild points to start off with. And I now have 510. Completing the semester. It gives me another 50, so uh, I'm up to 560 now. I need to update my point list. 
it's just a piece of paper that I found when I was doing it and I quickly needed something I'll, I'll update it yeah so yes that's that <sighs> looking forward to more magical redesign as always it's my favorite game um still taking part in the choose your own adventure for 2024 and I'm reading an October thing that is uh, having house as a setting mostly or as a character I think I covered that so that's fine um and yeah and then after that is another one and then we'll probably have light four so we'll see how that's gonna go thank you to the hosts you're awesome as usual if you have a video up or two or three hit me up in the comments down below with the link and i will go and check it out and leave a comment for you yeah what did you read during month of october never mind even if you didn't do magical reason what did you read in october what was your favorite were there any five stars hit me up in the comments down below let's chat let's be friends and that's that at the end of this video um until the next magical readathon bye from cape town mm -hmm.